straight in on the action. Um, it's roving threat in eastern Gondor. We're in South Inthilian, to Inthilian and beyond, etc. Ha ha ha. Morgrish is his name. Um, 835,000 morale. And um, half troll type dude. There's only three of them, three new ones. Uh, welcome to this kind of mishmash of um, Eastern Gondor sort of um, stuff. There he is up close. I'm actually using keys here, people. Um, we're going to look at bounties, we look at war bands, we're going to look at roving threats and other kind of roaming enemies as well. The Mumakil or Mumakil, I don't know how they're pronounced. I mean, a nice little fellowship here. Four people that will do. Don't need any more, really. Obviously, the more of us, the quicker it will be, but it's no problem at all. He's a standard fare. Lots of nice colour. Very angry, screaming a lot. I must say, uh, update 16 is very impressive. Um, great to have some new stuff to do. Um, the bounties are a great addition. It reminds me of The Witcher. Witcher 3. Well, not The Witcher 3, just The Witcher. You know, going into a town, picking up sort of bounties and going to find them. Well, I'll show you the locations of most of them. There's one bounty I'd already got, so we don't need to get that again. Um, the Fellowship are actually getting them for my sake. So there's not a lot of uh, point uh, to um, uh, go and get it again. And uh, he's pretty much down. Morgrish. There you go. Dead. Excellent. Again, I've uh, recorded about an hour and a half um, uh, of gameplay and I've sort of pushed it down to 35 minutes. There's a lot of it was like standing around waiting for people or chatting with one another. So it's not like you're missing anything. And um, nice music, by the way. If you can hear that. It's actually, you know, not chance, Thomas, but it's nice. And there we are on the map. And now we're over there on the map instead. And as you, and here's a couple of things to do here. There's a mama, a mama kill. Um, you'll see when I when we kill this that it actually gives a quest where you have to kill four of them and uh, you get some uh, yeah, some rep, etc., etc. And there it's, it's a daily quest. But first of all, uh, there's a bounty to take care of in this sort of Haradrim camp. So let's go in there and uh, take all these guys on. You might have noticed my hunter's changed his outfit. Got the elven uh, sort of sheath or arrow thing on, which is... Um <coughs> yeah, my, my voice wasn't working, which is really sort of weird. But anyway, um, which you get from uh, Lothlorien, and uh, there's new armor that drops as the sort of, uh, what's it called, them? purple or mauve colored drops here in uh, in Eastern Gondor, so I just thought I'd wear that. And I've got the uh, new pair of boots on, which I've completely forgotten what they are, dyed them black, and um, what's that armor called? You get the... The silver armor, you get that free with a, an early pack that kind of forgot what it's called. And that's what it is. <clears throat> that wasn't very helpful, was it? But there we go. So I've got no idea where I'm going. I think I've just pulled the two guys behind me. I have. I'll take care of those, no problem. Dead, 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 dead. down very easy nice through butter type stuff Harry dream camp very similar to the uh, um, the ones in central Gondor slightly bigger though I would wage and yeah, I just took him because you know you might as well there's a deed involved here I've got the advanced Harry Dream Slayer, so I've got to kill 300 of them. 
And he's already on his on the go up there. So help him out with the Yambahu, there he is in there. And I didn't know that. I actually went past. I thought, I wonder if there's anything in that tent. And uh, just went past it when I was soloing in here. So, yeah, there is a quest actually in here where you have to sort of go and clean up and kill, you know, X, Y, Z of, of things. But, um, yeah, and that's it. Now we've done that. and we get the hell out of here. I've imbued my, um, my ally. And just to clean up here. And, yeah, collecting task items again because that gives rep. And also, of course, um, IXP. So it's, you know, finally... But still, the level 105 tasks don't seem to have any uh, importance at all. Haven't got to Osgiliath yet, but I doubt they have. So I don't know. I've still got loads of uh, 105, level 105 tasks that you just can't cash in anywhere, which I think is a bit of an oversight. And they still drop as well. It's not like they've stopped dropping. Might as well kill him, because there's again an deed attached to... Uh, the half trolls. So, right, and there's a mama kill or mama kill outside, and it was a little bit more difficult than I anticipated. Oh, I got a teal drop there. You see that hair? There we go. It's here, heron soul. I don't think I'm going to sell it, but because um, it's heavy armor, and I can't use it for anything. But uh, yeah. We are. Oh, it looks like I uh, accidentally cut out the mama kill um, outside the. Uh, there's basically two of them outside roaming around, and uh, or three of them, and you go and do all those, and there's like 400 morale, and but you have to get four of them. Now this is a roving threat um, that doesn't count towards it, but there's a war band uh, that counts towards it later. Sorry about that. I didn't think I'd cut that out. Um, um, it was a, a mistake on my part, but it doesn't matter. It's it was just a lot of pew pew and riding around, and this is probably this is the same thing, just slightly bigger, slightly more pew pew. Um, also, these were the same with the other mama kid. They they sort of throw rocks off the top, and they can hurt you a great deal if they land on you, um, like wipe you. Twelve and a half thousand, I think. You might actually see me get wiped here. But there's a, you know, a million over a million uh, morale, and there's only uh, four of us, so it does take a while to sort of wear it down. I think I get impatient and go on foot, and uh, that's probably what uh, kills me, really. Uh, yeah, sorry about the uh, Muma kid. That was a bit, that was a bit weird. But we see the warband, and the warband is also really pretty tough. There you go. Look at that. Mind the tusks. That was twelve thousand. Need to. Uh, I've got X press, so it tracks the. I need to get out of here because. You... So mind the tusks and mind the uh, falling projectiles. They can hurt you. But I'm sure with like a 12 man, you know, as long as you've got someone holding aggro maybe behind it, you should be fine. But still, it's, uh, it presents a nice challenge with our sort of four men uh, that we've got going here at the moment. That's stupid again. I kind of feel like I'm in Star Wars, you know, with the Attack Walker, and you kind of go round and tie the legs round. I think we should have that. We should have a, like a rope that you can tie around the legs and wrap it round them and see them fall on the floor. Maybe stun them for a bit, and then you can wear them down for five minutes or, you know, a minute before they can get up again. That could be quite cool. It's never going to happen, of course, but, you know, just reminds me of, sort of, yeah, Snow Speeder against the Attack Walkers. Pretty cool. As you can see there on my uh, inventory bag, loads and loads of task items and loads and loads of LI stuff um, to, to level up. Because now, obviously, with the imbued LIs, you want as much IXP and, and runes, and IXP runes, as you can get. So, <coughs> I like the fact that it sort of breathes life into that system again. But you don't have to... Um, yeah, it's not just 
you know, whatever. But still, you want your empowerment scrolls, and uh, there's something like 14,000, 24,000 shards each. Something amazing amount of shards each. So um, all your marks and mids, and for less scrolls of empowerment, and level up your relics on your imbued ally, and get as much IXP out of it as you can. There you go, look at that. Totally, you floored me there. A bit more protection and get out of there because it's going to fall down in a minute. There's a little goblin running around. But almost down. The second roving threat. Bear in mind, I've already killed three Mumakil or Mumakil outside that had Haradrim camp. But this one does not count. The roving threat does not count. The warband counts. So there we, there we are. Dead. And I didn't get a brand, which was annoying. I still want 200 brands to get the uh, the file, the pocket item, the file, so I can. Uh, Get, yeah, the essence file, it's called. But, um, yeah. So that was that, and we're off to next. You can see the, the quest, the harder they fall, defeat Mumakil in Southern Ithilien, three out of four. Got one bounty here. I think we're going to go and get the other bounty. No, we're on to another roving threat here. See the location 69.1 south, 9.6 west, and it's just a troll. We've seen that kind of troll model before. Shadrach, there he is, and we might as well just go and get him. Up, I think. There's all my lights filled up completely. Move from the tracker. Lovely, just a bit of housekeeping, and he's also 1.1 million morale. And um, yeah, let's uh, let's get down and dirty. I actually do a bit of kiting here, which is um, which is quite nice. Because my DPS is so uber that uh, it kind of comes for me, and I keep him on the slow and just sort of kite him around while the others batter him. So he comes after me again. Just make sure get some slow. The Eldering Arrow. I don't actually really think he gets one off on me. Yeah. Gets distracted. It's all pretty cool. Again, I do like the effects. I just like the size of them. I like the scale. I mean, the battle is, you know, you can... It's not exactly very tactical. I understand that. But it's just a great deal of fun. You know, he's huge. There's loads of colour flying off him. There's a shouting and screaming and sounds of my bow and arrow and everyone else's. It's just a great sort of uh, uh, like sort of visual and audio experience. The roving threats, I do like them. And I still need to kill 50 of them to get the deed, the roving threat deed. I think I must be on about 35 out of 50 now, so a couple more runs. It'd be quite cool to do um, a roving threat run, all of them, from Angmar to Forest Shell to. To Central Gondor to East Gondor, so that's all. Uh, that's all good. But he's almost gone now. Not bad with just the four of us. And I can't remember where we're off after this. Yeah, there he is. Hey, you got a brand. Good night from you. Hey, little jump for joy. that. So I've got Thangol Ya to do. Got to find the other bounty and kill the other Mumakil, which will be the Thangol Ya warband. So that's like two birds with one stone there. And here I think we go after Ronkurs now, the other bounty. Now he's either in two places. There's two entrances to another kind of Haradrim camp or Morgul Orc camp, sorry. Um, there's this entrance, which is the wrong one, 
and there's the other entrance. But you could be in either. It's just the other side. You have to go up the mountainside and down the other side here. Barad Nimorn. But he's in here. There he is. Ronkos, and they start fighting him. So let's just, there we go. And let's just take him down. And it's, you know, there's nothing about them. It's just finding them, I suppose. And now you've found them, you go and do them. I'm not sure if they are daily quests. I haven't been back to check. I don't think so. They don't seem to uh, give any kind of... Uh, but you can turn them in, so yeah. I'm not going to say anything if they're dailies or not. But uh, you pick them up at Bahrain. As you probably know, south... But yeah, south of East Gondor. Just take them right out, just for the sake of it. There's a huge pause here of doing nothing. Um, I went down, I think, for a cigarette, and people went off to do stuff. I think I went all the way back to catch some quests in, etc. But there is the Warband, which is another Oliphant, that's what I like to call them. Surrounded by lots of Haradrim devoted ads. Um, always, obviously, take the ad first. Ads first. There you go. See, it counts towards the, uh, the Hard of a Fall quest. And it's really quite difficult. Again, it chucks down loads of rocks the whole time, has this kind of slowing effect. It's almost like a sort of Haradrim sorcerer is riding it, so you get that sort of bright flash where it sort of slows you down and actually stops your horse. It's quite clever. It stops you riding straight away and then throws something on you if you're unlucky. So uh, it's got a nice sort of close-up of it there so you can see it. And uh, here we go, I believe. Yeah. Let's go and get it. <coughs> oh, just move back straight away. Let's get some sort of perspective going on. Yeah, press X. Here we go, so follow him. Still not a complete master of the war steed. As you can probably tell. But let's keep him at a distance. There you go, pan the camera out so I can get a better view of the, the battlefield and what's going on. And we need to take all the ads down as per usual before we can actually uh, affect the warband before we can it will just absorb everything we throw at it if we don't do that but you've been there before you've seen stuff like that before no problem but you know they're so huge and the big sort of crunching steps it's all pretty good let's take him out as right, so well there we are Still a couple more to go. But I think, hopefully you agree with me, I think Upsay 16 is very impressive. I still haven't got to Osgiliath yet. So uh, I haven't done the instances, you know, as soon as I do those or when I do those. I think people are, you know, very familiar with them now. So I'll be late to that party. But that will also mean that I'll be told what to do. And you'll be able to see a, a complete instance, hopefully, on Tier 2. And hopefully done very well. Um... The only complaints I've heard about them so far. Look at that, two and a half million morale. He's a big dude and he takes a long time. Yeah, the only thing I've heard about uh, Paul about the instances is they're great fun, but they don't drop anything. Um, there was a hot fix, as you know, last Saturday. P people were hoping that that would fix the drops, but there were rumours that it was an exploit that was fixed, but I've got absolutely no idea. The fact that there weren't any patch notes for it might suggest that the hotfix rumour, I mean, the um, that the uh, exploit rumour was true. But he's a big old guy, this one. See, I've faded my face out. Just, you know, sit back and let the action unfold, I suppose. No need to talk all the time. You know. Um, the competition that I did, um, I'm going to choose um, someone at random. Um, I've also been asked to sort of give some shout-outs to people. I'll try and do that next time. I'll make sure I write down a couple of uh, people's names and say hello. Um... But you know who you are. I usually reply to all of you, everybody in the comments. But, um, you know, if you want some shout-outs in video, 
then uh, you know of course I can do that no problem whatsoever and um, I wish I could give away better things in the competitions but uh, yeah I haven't really written to turbine and uh, I'm not sure I will to be honest They've sent um, they've sent invites out for the players' council. Be interesting to see what happens there. Um, I obviously haven't got one. Um, I'm not on the forums very much. Don't comment, etc. On forums, this is kind of my own forum that I've made for the game. Not sure Turbine sort of want to recognise that. I think they want people within the community that are known by their in-house community, which is absolutely fair enough. You know, I'm not bitter. No, I'm not bitter. It's absolutely oops. It's absolutely fine. Would have been nice though, obviously. But uh, how much time I would have had to be able to dedicate to it when they want me to do that. I think that's the other sort of uh, side to it, you know. They say, you know, can you be online Friday? Well, if I can't, I can't. You know. If I can't play for a week, then I can't play for a week. That's uh, maybe people on the council are slightly have, you know, slightly more, de dedica slightly more dedication. Um, something that came to me actually was very... An obvious thing to do. If you can see there, my war steed's um, power is uh, sort of falling. And I was thinking, how can you get that back up? And uh, the easiest thing that I thought of was just like dismount and remount again, which is what I do a bit later when it's uh, very low. So uh, you see, I try and put that on, and I thought that would be a power boost. Just because I'd never really read what it is for. I've just gone DPS and then just clicked on the red and just uh, so yeah, go back to the red again. Yeah, I was thinking, how do I get it up? Not you know that up, but how do I get my power up? And uh, yeah, just dismount. But it's gone quite a while, and we've only taken a million uh, off it. As you can see, one of the members of the fellowship had to go. So let's get off and get on again. Probably not the first person to thought of that. And there we go, full morale. Let's go get it. I also find the thing about the war steed is I've got kind of you know a routine with my with my hunter, you know, key press or mouse click, whatever. But I know my sort of routine. I know what I'm doing. But it all seems a bit sort of hodgepodge. It all seems a bit random. I can't sort of press one, three, four, five, back to one, three, four, back to one sort of thing. It's everything sort of got these. Yeah, maybe I haven't spent that much time with it. Maybe it's me complaining. But that's something I'm actually not good at. So there we are. Poof. It all looks good. There you go. That slows me right down to a stop. Lucky enough, I can move again. That's a nice little trick. I think. So there's still a long way to go. Wow. Oh, thank God we are. Even though it's doable with, you know, three, I think, yeah, just more people on it. It's burning down a lot quicker. Oof, see that devastated 9,600. 6,500, oof, and again, and he's totally wiped me out, look at that, totally wiped me, out of the blue. Some nice editing there, let's just go straight back into it, no point in seeing the sort of running. So be very careful. Oh, excuse me, I'm yawning at my own video. That's probably not a very good sign, is it? But here we go. Again, with the sort of snow speed on the Atat Walker. Let's uh, burn him down now. 700,000 morale left.
one of the things I would say uh, about update 16 is a lot of the drops, a lot of the quest rewards are like, you know, I don't understand them because they're rubbish. Okay, well that, that, that's that's not true. A lot of the um, armor drops are rubbish. They're throwing major essences at you like anything. There's a uh, crystal of remembrance for completing the epic quest. There's uh, supreme essence for completing an epic quest as well. So they're really good. But the armor is like you know just way underpowered. And something else that strikes me as strange is the first half of the of E Gondor update. And again, look at that. 14,000, totally. Whoa. Get the hell out of there. The first half of. Uh... Quick, 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 move, move, move. There we are. And 6,591 again. Hurting me a lot. Yeah, sorry, the first half of uh, e of um, Eastern Gondor, you get Pelagir rep. And I'm thinking again, you know. Central Gondor came out a good few months ago. There, there can't be anyone who doesn't have, who isn't at rep yet with Pelagir, with the old ones. You know, why not start with a new one straight away? It's only when you go over to Athelion um, and you have the Rangers of Athelion rep. I don't know, this seems weird. It seems just a waste. What's the point? I mean, everyone must be a full reputation with... Uh, after like two, three months of, of no update, no new content, and of dailies, etc., etc., um, and you know the whole set, you know, the whole Dalamros stuff as well, giving rep. But I don't know, maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. Oh, he's getting angry now, and we've nearly done him. We go past the time a bit. That's excellent. You know, it's kind of a half a let's play, and dead. And there you go, both quests came in there. The harder they fall and the warband. That ruins of Brango Bell, you can see defeat orcs, spies. That's just that is just a solo quest that uh I picked up before the fellowship sort of started up, so I'd rather do that. Silver box of Gondor and um there it was his twelve hundred rep, that's because I have an accelerate uh, on. Because I sort of cheated. And um yeah, and again as well. There's no crafting update. I've got a million logs of wood. I've got a million pieces of scarn, and they're still dropping. And there's still nothing to do with them whatsoever because the armor that you can create with them is like you know just not as good as the essence armor that you've now got. So they need to address that. We we need to get a new craft item to drop, and uh, yeah, bit of a jump there. That was fine. Um, I think we're just outside of Faramir's uh, lookout to do the final, no, to do another warband. Let me just, you know, they can all ride off. Wait for me, kind of thing. We picked up Dakota, Dakotain or something. So, and you, and there's a Morgul Goblin. Uh, some Morgul Goblins running around some, some trolls. Which is quite nice. So let's do those. Let's go and take those down. And this is the next warband. Gundrach. There's some yeah, trolls and goblins guarding him. So all they, yeah, same thing. They need to come down. Do I get bored of running around in circles, or do I actually uh, continue to ride around, strafing? I also find the standing there and, and you know unleashing it's a lot more power I get from my uh, one troll down, and I think he can be hurt now. No, there's one left. There he is. He's dead, and now we take him. A quarter of a million morale, no real problem. There we go. Let's just uh, let's just take it down. We've got a tank with us, so holding aggro much better now. I'm trying to get around the front of him so we can see his face. Ready to advance. Oh. <laughs> 
Now, something that I always thought was quite awesome, being a fan of the lore, being a fan, obviously, Lord of the Rings. Look at this. This is the Morgul Gate. It's not the Black Gate to Mordor, but this is the Morgul Gate. We're all the way up there. And there are a couple of Morgul Gatekeepers. And to make a long, cut a long story short, we kill both of them and you get nothing. So there's no point in us watching us kill those 4 million HP or 4 million morale combined and we get nothing and no good drops either. Look at that. that. And by the way, if you touch the gate itself, you die. So Minas Morgul coming up. There's the gate up the top. Now it's back to Bahurin because we need the very last warband for the deed and just you know to do all the warbands as you do back to Bahurin or Huin and um, go to the stable master and go to Glen Eith, which is over the other side of the river that's where there's only real Pelagir rep that Gondor comes which is very sort of strange but some beautiful old sort of Gondorian cities um, in the area across the, the water and up in Upper Lebanon Clan Eighth. and here is the last warband coming up so I've got some sort of jacket of the moonlands on yeah all those drops there the green that's what the um that's what the, those Morgul gatekeepers dropped. So, nothing. You know, not even worth it. Well, it was, I suppose it was worth it to try. It was fun, but, you know, nothing good came of it. Apart from I had fun. The red skies and the, the lightning coming from the direction of Mordor and Minas Morgul. I'm sure we're going to get to go in there. As you can see, there's the red arrow on the map there on the right which uh, as you know means warband there's me typing so I'm just riding off in the distance lots of ads here Let's just ride around in a circle and kill a, a beast or two. Again, there's a deed. Again, it's 300. I think those have already started. Yeah, I think they've already engaged the warband, and there's me just mucking around, killing. Uh, yeah, that's it. This is going to kill those instead. Yeah, yeah some war, lots of war riders. There, we quite like work of these guys. But believe me, there's so much to do in update 16. Good storyline, um, yeah, new environments. I like the warbands. He goes Kazota, only uh, 200,000 morale, so he's burned down rather quickly. And I'm going to leave you. So it's a quick look at some stuff in Gondor that you might not have seen yet or you can look forward to when you get there. Um, so that'll be, uh, you know, my Beorning, I suppose, has gone into hibernation for a bit. Doesn't mean I won't be levelling or doing a Let's Play, but hopefully you understand that update, you know, I've been sort of starved of new content for a couple of months. Update 16 has come out. Um, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to grind. Um, as I said, I still haven't done that. Osgiliath, I still haven't done the instances. And that is what I'm going to be focusing on, my time on. That's it, dead. So until next time, really, there we are. I'd like to say goodbye and see you next time. And you'll be hearing from me around about the competition, personally. You know, it's a little male thing. And so check that. And, um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. I did. I enjoyed playing it. Keep 
comments coming in. It's great engaging with you, chatting to you. You know, really do enjoy it. So I'll see you later. All right? Let's just ride off into the sunset. Damage first. Yeah, take all those. Bye-bye.